Hello! It was recently my birthday and my wife surprised me with this. Yes, it's Lego and it's a Fender guitar and amp. What more could a grown man possibly want to keep him happy? In this video I'll be showing you the final build and demonstrating some of the cool features included in this awesome Lego kit. Be sure to stick around until the end of the video as I will reveal a big lesson that I've learnt whilst filming. Something awful happened and it was very traumatic. So here is the set with the red Lego Fender Strat that plugs into the guitar amp via this cable into one of the two inputs on the front of the amplifier. A nice feature is that you get a twinned foot switch that also plugs into the guitar amplifier. The guitar itself is available in red, I chose to build the red one, but you also have the parts to make a black one if you fancy rebuilding it. The guitar sits on a guitar stand which, like a normal guitar stand, folds up, so you can actually fold it up and put it in the boot of your Lego car if you have one. There's rubber parts to stop the finish on your guitar getting scratched. And you also have a really cool Fender authentic Lego strap. You can see the logo and it looks just like a normal Fender guitar strap. When it comes to the electronics, you have your three single core pickups, two straight and one angled as you would expect. On the front of the guitar, you have your whammy bar that moves. You have your volume and tone controls and the pickup selector switch. And if I move the strings out of the way, you have neck marker dots in the proper places. On the headstock of the guitar you have a Fender logo on a Fender brick, which means this is an authentic Lego Strat. And at the top you have these studs that tighten the strings. If I turn the guitar around you can see you have a neck plate with a Fender logo, this time via a sticker. And at the top of the guitar we have the machine heads that don't actually tune the guitar, but they look cool. The guitar amp really surprised me. I was expecting just a box, but the guitar amp itself is really complicated. All the knobs turn. You have the twin inputs on the front, you have the Fender logo that you can either angle or have straight. If I move the top of the amplifier, this exposes the electronics. Now the electronics took a long time to put together. You can see all the various colours of capacitors and various electronic components, and this took a long time to put together. If I turn the guitar amplifier round so you can see the back of the amp, there are two removable plates, one at the top and one at the bottom, and this exposes the interior. Along the top you have your valves and you also have a reverb tank at the bottom and the speaker which both connect to the amplifier via Lego cables at the top. The speaker itself is on four studs and this moves a little bit. And if I remove a brick at the bottom of the guitar amp you can see there is a Lego reverb spring. Now you might not even see this because it's right in the amplifier but it's great to know that it's there. Great job Lego. So, what's the big lesson that I learned whilst filming this video? Never let Yoda play your completed Lego Fender Strat. I thought it'd be cool to put together the ultimate toy combination of Star Wars, guitars and Lego. I turned my back for a few seconds and Yoda decided to partake in the ultimate rock and roll act of stage diving from my table. To my horror, my freshly built Lego Fender guitar had smashed into pieces. I was horrified. I've now recovered from this traumatic experience, all Lego pieces have been located and the guitar has been rebuilt. So I hope you enjoyed this video and look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now.